<sighs> Namaste. Good morning. Put you down here. I just, after yesterday, I let my hair down. <laughs> um, welcome to another wakey and bakey. With Reiki. Yes, um, what a day. Yesterday was a very big emotional day for me. Um, well, if, yeah, and even that that word there, emotional, is part of the whole thing. As I mentioned yesterday, um, the weekend I went up to the mountains, and I had a one of those life-changing, earth-shattering, whoa, whoa, whatever moments up there, and, and as I reconnected to what I loved, and that's nature, that's for the first time in... I can't remember if I did anything. No, it's so during that marriage I was windsurfing. I got out of hiking. It hasn't been since the 80s. Can it be that long? 35 years since I've really, well, in the desert. Okay, down in Vegas I was in the desert and I connected out there. But the trees and the majesty and the giganticness of the mountain, the Sierra Nevadas, there's something about them um, that's just truly magical. And I reconnected to that. And I knew something was missing. And I really knew, I really knew something was missing. It was just, yeah. So the rest of the day I was just thinking and coming back to that thing of emotional, I might have mentioned in my last magazine. I got proof from another human being of this idea of emotional. Um, I wanted, to, as part of this journey, to take on the, the more feminist qualities and the qualities I was looking for mainly as emotional and just how do women think. And so I've been doing that and really been going into the, um, because how they think is, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to figure that one out. Um, because I can't walk in their shoes. Yet the emotional was something I wanted to understand because we can all have these emotions. I don't believe we all have the same. It's just we're raised differently. And yesterday was a big one where I got to see with another man. I made the comment about, wow, I really understand this thing now from another side of women are emotional. And I purposely watched his face. You know, maybe I'm putting it out there, whatever, yet he gave the face that I would perceive men to have because I had the same thing about this women are emotional and the face I just made there was kind of the one he did you know it's you look at them as negative oh they're emotional they can't handle their emotions oh they're just going nuts with their emotions they're crazy no that's not what it is Yesterday when I was crying about my dojo and just crying about different things, it was because of emotional, spiritual things were happening. Uh, yeah, I was scared for my dojo, yet it was just a joy and a wonder. I was showing my emotions, and there's nothing negative about that. It's just I see now that men have attached that negative meaning to emotions. And so when a woman is showing her emotions, that's what it should be. Because... Another male friend, he makes a comment, I'm very in control of my emotions. Well, your definition of controlling emotions means you never show any. Because this person doesn't show their emotions. Yeah, either they're up here, or they're laughing, you know, up here, anger, screaming, yelling, and I recognize it because I used to be that, or they're the total opposite of just laughing and just hysterically about something. I just look at it and go, I don't get why you're laughing at a stick. So, and nothing there, I'm looking at myself because I didn't have, 
I thought I had control of my emotions. I had control of shutting them down. I didn't have control of my emotions like women. They're more in touch with their emotions, which is an amazing, powerful thing. It's why women are more into Reiki and into attunement and intuitive. It's because they're more in touch with their emotions. And so that's what happened to me, and that's what was amazing about yesterday. And so it wasn't a wigging out. It was realizations of what I want to create in this dojo. And so yesterday I was just going through this idea of dojo. You know, I'm going to create one online, yet the idea of meeting with veterans in person one-on-one -on -one, and helping them in doing a Reiki class which is in class, it's just a practice. And it's just, yesterday, more and more stuff came to me. You know, even this idea of just, it came just yesterday, is you don't teach Reiki, you practice Reiki. Even in the dojo, we don't teach it, we're not gonna teach Reiki. We're gonna practice it, and I'm gonna share information that I have of my own life, just share stories as we practice Reiki. We don't like to be teach taught, we don't like to be taught something and told it, but, if we can practice something and we put it in there and these ways of stories, I believe that's how Dr. Sui did it. So I was realizing that and I kept going over what I want to do and I saw a beautiful I love in the future, possibly except for this new realization of have a dojo, a place where you can come and learn to meditate in a coffee shop on the side or tea. You know, it's cool. Yet <laughs> this weekend I went up to the mountains. You know, and I gotta watch it by jumping all over the place, you know, my chasing things. That's what I do. I, I constantly come up with these things. It'd be cool to do this. It'd be cool to do that. I've come up with a hundred different foods and ideas I'd love to sell. You know, I don't want to sit in the shop. You gotta use your intuition. That's right. And I've, I've cast those off. I'm just running through ideas. Yet, Saturday, something happened. I have decided I am doing the dojo, I am doing Reiki, I have to do this. You know, whatever comes out of it is actually Yumikido. And even when I break Reiki down and I go into Yumikido, I've um, got to make sure this is shorter because I'm going to do a follow-up on this. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a follow-up on this of what has actually happened. Um, yeah, my um, Awaken and Bacon, and I'm going to have to come up with something different on that. Um, yeah, something's going to come out of that. I'm, a, I'm going to have two, but one, the first mornings, I'm always going to do these debriefs. They're beautiful, they're wonderful. Um, they help me to see myself because I rewatch them. And if my sharing of something is going to be for you, you get it, great. Um, also, this is day 198. And in two more days, my thousand day adventure is going to be one fifth over. Um, that's a giant eye opener. Then I can go, wow, have I done enough? You know, because I keep comparing and we shouldn't compare. Yet, if one person can do it, anyone can do it. And this Daz, who did the Thousand Day Adventure, and at the end of the Thousand Days, he's traveling the world, he has a media company, he's doing it. You know, so I can compare to him, yet I'm looking at the steps I've taken in a thousand days, and it's like, holy moly. And what I'm going to reveal to you about one of the most massive changes I have seen in my personal self in the last 200 days, it's the biggest physical change I've ever seen in my life. And it confirms something I have said about energy, um, body, manifestation, everything, a thought, how it comes into the real world. You're looking at it right now, but I will be pointing it out in two days. I could get a little negative about it, yet I'm just going to look at it as, uh, -uh Doug. It's, a, it's a, something to look at. It's something to use into your life to make your life better, and that's what I'm going to do. So in 200 days, I'm going to be sharing that. I'm going to be sharing a, little, a video about my progress of where I've come. I used to be at a horse ranch every day working with horses. And here I am now. And in my next video, Awake and Bacon, I'm going to share what happened last night that I was thinking about yesterday as I was doing this dojo thing and this reiki and this stuff. But it didn't anchor until something happened late last night with my doggone roommates. I love them so much. They threw another wrench in. And remember, yesterday started with my roommates throwing a wrench in. So they throw a wrench in about me waking up. And I couldn't wake up till later because they were getting up early. And it was no sense me getting up at 3 o'clock in the morning. 
And so by me staying up late last night and doing a little more searching, my eyes just went, wow. And between this, last night and this morning walk, just walking out here, it's I've almost pretty much cemented in where the main part of my dojo is going to be. And it's where I've always wanted it. I swear I've always wanted to do it. It's on my dojo website. Yet, wow, last night I got to looking at it and it's, holy crap, am I channeling someone else now? Yeah, so you gotta watch the next video. See what this is about, because it's pretty cool. And I'm already thinking, what do I need to sell to get this stuff? I'm gonna start selling my art and see what I can do with that, these wood cuttings, but I got some Grateful Dead stuff and other things. I'm gonna make this happen. So that's it for now. Take another coffee, right? Sip of coffee. Because I want to thoroughly acknowledge you so I can thoroughly acknowledge myself. Namaste.